an IRL streamer who allows his viewers to pay him to play audio clips through his phone faces 10 years in prison after making a fake bomb threat at the University of Washington. Welcome back to What's Trending, I'm Martine Bierman. Make sure to subscribe for more social media and trending news stories daily. Arabandi, real name Jamal Haraz, was live streaming to hundreds of viewers on May 31st when he was paid $4.20 to walk into the sociology department at UW and play this audio clip. Successfully activated. Bomb detonation countdown successfully started. Haraz immediately left the room as viewers on the live stream made comments like, Get out of there, LMAO, and police are coming, bro, leave. One of those commenters, Atavistic Autist, uploaded the full live stream to their channel. And despite how severe of a prank it was that he was pulling, he seemed pretty happy with himself afterwards on his live stream. Dude, you cannot get a better reaction to that. Holy shit, always. That was not on purpose. Not playing, guys. He left the campus as students and faculty dialed 911 and then was approached by police shortly after. On the ground. Wait, what's going on? Don't make any sudden oh, yeah, I'm recording, bro. If you're gonna shoot me. As he was being handcuffed, Taraz seemed confused about why he was being taken into custody. This bro, you're gonna arrest me for nothing, bro. Come on, stop, bro. That's not fair, bro. I didn't. Bro. Bro, stop. Come on, please. Listen, bro. For some incredibly confusing reason, Haraz seems to think that because he didn't yell, this is a bomb threat, he's somehow blameless in this situation. Tell that to the students who were understandably afraid for their lives. At the moment, you like you don't know, did he like throw something into the other room? Um, that was, I think, probably the, like, the moment of biggest fear. After going back and watching all of that video that he made, um, I think I realized that I'm, I'm not sure that he knew any more than we did what was going to play over those speakers. Haraz was charged with threatening to bomb or injure property. Haraz is being held at $75,000 bail, and the judge says he's not allowed to post any more videos to his page for the time being. And he hasn't. But an audio clip has been posted to the channel Arab Andy highlights on his behalf. And right now, I'm in jail facing felony charges because of that live stream. And Yo, it's, it's just really bad, guys. I might be facing you and it's my prison. I don't know what to do. I'm trying to get a lawyer. That video pushes to a GoFundMe page asking for donations to Haraz's legal defense. After two weeks, though, the campaign is nowhere near its $7,500 goal. Seems like his viewers are more likely to contribute to him getting into trouble than getting out of it. The GoFundMe page reads Arab Andy truly is harmless and he never once made a threat. It was a YouTube video that one of his viewers chose to play over his speakers after making a donation. Arabandi is still so young and he has so much of his life ahead of him. For now, Haraz is waiting to see if a Seattle court agrees that he's harmless. But the whole point of these live streams seems to be to put the host in situations where he'll be offending or frightening people. Arabandi got into trouble recently on a bus when a contributor played an audio clip that said the N-word over and over again while he was on a city bus. Turn it off. And another live streamer, Asian Andy, got kicked out of his Uber when an audio clip played on his phone saying, Hitler did nothing wrong. Hail Hitler. Hitler did nothing wrong. Jesus Christ. Wait, wait, wait. Get the uh, out of my car. Alright, sorry. Have a good day. Have a good day, sir. Hi, I'm Bixby. It's great to meet you. Now, in reporting on live streamers like the Andes, the Daily Beast said YouTube stars are getting rich off these kinds of stunts. It's kind of sad that you can make money off of other people being offended or scared, but I guess that kind of depends on what your definition of rich is. Haraz told police that he makes about $1,000 a month off of live streaming, which won't exactly get you a new Lambo. But it is income, and if the viewers are coming in off of YouTube, then YouTube does have the opportunity to make ad money off of that. And I guess the question is, do they want to be making money off of pranks and things like this? What do you guys think? Should Jamal Haraz go to jail? And should the person who paid him to play that clip also get punished? Let us know in the comments, and for more trends, head to whatstrending.com.